Tonight's story is called The Little Boy Who Made a Flag Saucer in His Back Garden. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who liked to watch his daddy using his tools. The tools that he has in the shed and the tools that he has in the garage and the tools that he has in the basement. The little boy was fascinated by the things that daddy could make. For example, daddy knew how to make tables and chairs. Uh -huh. But how about, how about a, a wooden giant? I suppose daddy would, would be able to make that too, but he didn't. Why? The little boy really wanted to use the tools and become good like daddy at making things. But he often thought, what shall I make? And he couldn't think of anything to make usually. Why? Then, one day, the little boy had an idea. What? I really want to make a flying saucer, he thought. So then the idea came to him to get some tools and some wood and metal and screws and things. And he started to build a flying saucer when his daddy was at work. He wasn't very good at it, but soon his flying saucer looked, just looked like a real one, round with an engine at the bottom. And how would the engine on top? Windows and a little dome on top. Mm. The little boy climbed in and uh, mounted. But how about how about the floor? There was a floor in the flying saucer, of course. But when he lands, is he goes by that? Is he got? If the sun go out and out to me a butt and the wind a and the wind a comes out. Cook. But that way a looks after a in the grid. But the green shoes of people, but the red shoes of people, but me. Right, so what do we get to? So the little boy was building his flying saucer in his garden, and then he went inside the flying saucer and pressed the first button. And without warning, the door shut, and the flying saucer started to hum. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He then pressed another button called Start. And guess what happened? The flying saucer started to fly up into the sky. The little boy was very proud of what he'd made. I made a flying saucer, he said, and it flies. And eventually, the flying saucer landed in a farm where he had to get the ball. He saw one very, very old cow and but, but the farmer stole a fly saucer the farmer saw a fly saucer yes so exactly he went up into the sky in the flying saucer and flew round and round the countryside and landed in a farm and when he landed in the farm he went to get a cow and took the cow in the flying saucer and then flew back to his garden and let the cow out now, as you probably know, cows eat a lot of vegetables and they like to eat flowers and things in the garden, lettuces, cabbages, anything which is growing. And that's exactly what the cow did. It ate all of the little boy's daddy's vegetables. When daddy got home, he was very cross. Why? What have you done with my vegetables? Said daddy. The cow ate them, said the little boy. A cow? Said daddy. What's a cow doing in my garden? So the little boy explained that he'd been flying around in his flying saucer and brought back a cow. So, Daddy said, well, as we've got a cow, we'll have to milk him. So Daddy went and got a bucket and the little boy and the Daddy then started to pull the udders and they made a nice fresh milk. The best kind, the kind of milk you've got to drink the same day as you made it. 
Wait, so? Wait, they have a bucket? They had a bucket where they put the milk, yes. But we don't have a bucket. Well. We have a sand bucket. I can use my sand bucket. Yes, you could use your sand bucket actually to milk the cow. Yes. And that daddy was actually quite glad to have a glad to have a cow in the garden, even though it did eat all his vegetables, which made him cross. But then, on the other hand, he had free milk every day, and that's got to be worth something. Nice, fresh, warm milk came into the house every day from the cow. They never forgot to milk it. Daddy, that's the end of the story. Sorry. All right. Um, but I will listen to one. Hey, listen to one, yes. Okay, let's stop uh, this and we'll find one to listen Daddy, to. Daddy, I'm going to, when Mummy comes up, he'll be worried on me. 